today, as this is published, 4 p.m. January the 1st, 2024. So, now it's time to take a breather. So, Matt's having a breakdown, which happens all about 4 <laughs> o'clock every day. This is normal, this is normal. I don't know what I'm calling this video. I was thinking about calling it, like, goodbye. I got some bad news for those of you who like this channel. Some of our favorite creators are stepping down. They're leaving YouTube. And I think it's important for us to talk about why. And as aspiring creators, what can we learn from those who have gone before us so we don't make the same mistakes? And I bring these four up because they all released videos around the same time around the idea of quitting or in Matt Diavella's case, he's not quitting necessarily. So for the first time in the past four years, I'm on my own. I don't have any employees, I don't have any editors, no social media managers or team. But I, I include him in this because his reasoning is the same as everybody else who's quitting, or at least very similar. I can't keep this up. This is my dream job and I have a lot of fun doing it. I know I'm incredibly lucky, but a dream job is still a job and it's a job that keeps getting bigger and more complicated. I am so tired. There's nothing in my life right now except work. What I didn't realize at the time was that I was turning something that I loved into a job. Whenever these big creators start talking about the changes that are coming, they tend to always talk about how it started out as something else, but then eventually it turned into just feeling like another job and they're always working. And I don't want to be put on this like pressure cooker to maintain this kind of upload schedule. And I can't help but think like, is that the inevitable future for us creators who are aspiring to have bigger audiences? Are we eventually just gonna get to the point of these guys where we're like, I can't do this anymore. Like many of us will say like, one day the dream is to have our own YouTube channel, go full time on YouTube and grow this business. And I think the idea is like, I don't wanna be a part of the rat race anymore, you know? But when I hear things like this, I, I do have to stop and be like, what am I chasing? What is my goal because it's so easy to be like yeah i'd love to reach a million subscribers at least a hundred thousand to get that silver play button or you know all these different like arbitrary goals but for some reason it is so hard to remember like the beauty of being a smaller creator this is a part-time hobby thing but the beauty of it just making money and not like i'm relying on the money is i don't have to make creative decisions based on a dollar amount that's tied to it and when you upload one video a month or two videos a month, it's very difficult because if you have two videos that flop, you're in financial trouble. Because to be honest, if I was relying on this channel to be my sole income maker, I would feel like I have to do all the fancy editing, the zooms in, zoom in, <laughs> the sound effects, writing a hook for the beginning of this video for a week just to make sure it's perfectly optimized. Like I would go insane with every single video that I make and I probably wouldn't make this video to be honest. And I don't know, where am I going with this? I think there is this pressure, especially in the YouTuber community. So many people saying the same thing. My goal is to go full-time. For a lot of people, that probably means we're gonna grow a team. I'm gonna hire an editor, I'm gonna bring on a strategist, a researcher, all this stuff. And if that is your goal, more power to you. But I got a question, like, is that me? Do I want to be a manager or do I just love creating? But something that I've been processing, I'm actually reading Ali Abdal's new book. It's Feel Good Productivity. And he talks about goals a little bit in there. And he actually uh, has the, the acronym NICE goals instead of like SMART goals, which a lot of us have heard of. It stands for near-term, input-based goal, controllable, and energizing. So when I put that in the context of YouTube and growing a YouTube channel, I think about near-term... Blah, blah, blah. Gotta get some something to drink. I think about near term more as like, okay, I have this personal goal to make 12 different uh, creator breakdown videos, one every single month. So I'm not even looking towards month three or four, like we're on month one. I'm just looking to make sure that I get the next one done. That's my near term goal. Get it done on time. An input based goal, I'm really just thinking about, okay, what is, what's the stuff I can do in the here and now? I just gotta be diligent about making sure that I'm researching and studying up on the top creators and then controllable, like, is the goal in my control? Yes, it is. But the things that are not in my control are subscriber numbers. I'm just gonna try to make the best videos possible that I know how, and the subscriber thing will take care of itself. And the energizing, um, that is a whole thing that he goes way deep into the book. If you're interested in the book, I highly recommend it. I'm really enjoying it. Almost done with it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. And so for you, I, I want you to challenge the idea of like, is there some tension between like what 
it feels like should be your goal and what is actually the thing that you want in the long run. Because you may hate working right now and you may love making videos, so it might make perfect sense for you to go full-time doing this thing. But that might mean that one day you're gonna be working 60, 70 hours a week because now you own a media company. Is that what you want? And again, just because you're a successful creator doesn't mean that now you're overworked and you're burnt out. And there's so many examples of creators who this doesn't apply to. But I think when these types of videos come up, it really does make me take a step back and say, okay, what am I striving after? So I want to give it to you. Let me know in the comments, what are your goals? Feel free to say that you want to go full time. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I'm going to say that I just want to build a community of people who are nerding out about YouTube because that's, that's what I like doing. And I feel like an outcast sometimes. And some, like, I don't, I don't have people in my immediate circle who I can nerd out with. Uh, so this is my place to talk about YouTube stuff. So for me, I would just say community, but let, let me know what your answer is. Why do you make videos? Why do you go through the grind of uh, tr trying to make a new video every week or whatever it is. And hey, shameless plug, if you like, if you're nerd nerding out about YouTube, then uh, make sure to subscribe because I like talking about it and that's what we do here. All right, you can tell this video is not scripted. Well, here's, uh, here's to the next year. Cheers.